Keeping them honest every night. AC 360. CNN. Weeknights 10 Eastern. Sanjay, your report is, I've already started using an earpiece. I've completely changed the way I've used my cell phone. I try not to carry it in my pocket. But I think the thing that surprised me most and really kind of caught my attention the most, which I hadn't realized, is that the, the manufacturers actually tell people in the instruction manual, which I, I never read, to put, not to put the cell phone against your ear. Yeah, you know, it, that was pretty surprising to us as well. And we, we came upon, upon that particular fact uh, a little bit into the investigation. We had been talking to the safety experts, talking to be people who are dealing with, uh, you know, cell phone safety uh, quite a bit. And then when you read the, the, the actual insert that people never read, frankly, that comes with the, with the phone, it does say exactly that. There's a, the BlackBerry, for example, warrants to keep your phone at least 0.98 inches away from the body when transmitting, and the iPhone 4 gives a similar warning as well. Uh, it's tough to do, obviously. What is interesting here, Anderson, if you, if you dig a little bit deeper into this, what you find is that there is a certain amount of radiation that is considered the FCC limit. Uh, but that, is, that limit is sort of dictated by having the phone about an inch away from your head. If you move it closer to your head, they say they can no longer guarantee that your phone isn't emitting more radiation than the FCC limit, which is just stunning to me. So all, all those limits are only based on literally you know, having your phone a certain distance away from your, from your head. And I mean, I've been walking down the street watching people using their cell phones now. I have not seen one single person have it away. I mean, like everybody no. else, I mean, they're using it like I used it, which is like press as hard as you possibly can <laughs> against your ear. And, and, and here's the, the, the particularly bad thing about that. People pushing it really hard against their ear, in part because you may not have a good signal, you can't hear as well. That's, in fact, what we learned the worst time to be doing that. And here's why. Uh, your phone is not always giving off the same amount of radiation. If you have a poor signal, if you're you know, having a hard time hearing the person, in fact, your phone is trying to compensate for that. Your phone is doing, you know, trying to give you a better signal. And in the process of doing that, it is emitting even perhaps more radiation. It, this is a constant process. It's constantly communicating with cell towers further away from a cell tower, uh, the, the sort of remote re region that you're in, it could actually be exceeding, uh, again, those, those FCC limits as far as radiation goes, trying to give you a better signal. And you've always used a wired earpiece when talking on the phone. Is that radiation free? Well, you, you know, it's interesting. It's, it's not radiation free. And again, this has been a, a, uh, you know, a learning experience, I think, for, for a lot of people. But even the wired earpiece, which I carry, as you know, everywhere, it, it, it does have some, uh, for example, wiring uh, that may transmit some radiation up to the ear as well. So it's, it's greatly reduced versus a, a cell phone, certainly much reduced versus holding it to your ear. But there is some as well. Some people uh, have actually recommended, even since uh, we first re re reported this on your show, Anderson, I got a lot of emails about this. They say there's, for example, uh, something known as a ferrite bead, which you can actually put on the wire, and it can sort of uh, really uh, diminish the amount of radiation transmitted up to your ear. And there's e even something known as a hollow tube, a hollow air tube, which the last little bit of your earpiece is actually just air. So it's, uh, the, the signal's transmitted to a certain point, and then air it just is allowed to transmit it to your, to your ear for the hearing and the, and the, and the talking. So it, it's, uh, there are some various strategies, but it's limited uh, compared to you know, holding the phone to your ear. What about like Bluetooth headsets? Bluetooth is also going to be uh, much less radiation than uh, you're holding your phone to your ear, but it's not nothing. It's still a certain amount of non-ionizing radiation. The concern here, and again, this is from talking to you know, lots of safety experts, is if as you're walking down the street, Anderson, you see people with this in their ear, they often leave it in their ear all day long. Right. Uh, cab drivers, people who you know, are, are on, the, on the move all day long. That, so they're, they're essentially leaving that source next to their head the whole time. It's tough to say at a low dose what that's going to do, but it's the duration. And in this case, uh, you know, years of, of doing that, that uh, is potentially the problem. It's uh, incredibly eye-opening for me, at least. Uh, Sanjay, thanks. Thanks, Anderson.